Good morning children. Today we are continuing image formation. Image formation by convex mirror. Image formation by convex mirror. There are only two positions to obtain image formation. Number one, when an object is placed at infinity and second, when an object is placed anywhere between infinity and pole of the mirror. So see, first, when an object is at infinity, so two rays traveling from infinity towards the lens, sorry, mirror, convex mirror. So this ray and this ray traveling towards the convex mirror. After and both rays are parallel. So two rays traveling from infinity which are parallel to principal axis. After reflection, after reflection, it appears to pass. It appears to pass a point focus. It appears to pass a point F focus. So, it appears to intersect the reflected ray at focus. So, at focus, image is formed. When an object is placed at infinity, image is formed at focus. Image is formed at focus. So, location of image formation is at focus. This is very small, very small point size. So, location and nature, location and nature of image. First, image is formed at focus. Second, virtual, image is virtual, erect and point size, diminished size, very small. So, nature of image will be virtual, erect and point size. Image will be point size. Next, when an object is placed anywhere between infinity and pole of the mirror, this is convex mirror and this is pole and here very far away infinity. So, object is placed between infinity and pole of the mirror. Two rays traveling from object. One ray is traveling parallel to principal axis. This ray is parallel to principal axis. After reflection, they appear to pass through focus. After reflection, it appears to pass through focus. So this is reflected ray. And other ray is passing through center of curvature. Other ray passing through center of curvature. After reflection, it passes along the same path. Passes along the same path. So this is incident ray and this is also reflected ray. So reflected ray this and reflected ray this intersect at B dash. So at B dash A dash B dash A dash image is formed. So image is formed between focus and pole. Focus and pole. So location of image is between focus and pole of the mirror. So, when an object is placed 
बिट एनी वेयर बिटवीन इंफिनिटी एंड पोल ऑफ द मीर पोल ऑफ द मीर द इमेज विल बी फॉर्म बिटवीन पोल एंड फोकस ऑफ द मीर बिटवीन पोल एंड फोकस ऑफ द मीर सेकेंड द इमेज विल बी वर्चुअल इरेक्ट एंड स्मॉलर देन द ऑब्जेक्ट डिमिनिस्ड साइज स्मॉलर देन द ऑब्जेक्ट और से डिमिनिस्ड साइज सो देर आर ओनली टू पोजिशन टू ऑप्टेन इमेज फॉर्मेशन बाई कॉन्वेक्स मीडर इन दिस चैप्टर रिलेशन बिटवीन फोकस एंड फोकल लेंथ एंड रेडियस ऑफ कर्वेचर एफ इज इक्वल टू आर बाई टू मीर फॉर्मूला वन बाई बी प्लस वन बाई यू इज इक्वल टू वन बाई एफ मैग्निफिकेशन भी बाई यू माइनस बी बाई यू साइन कन्वेंशन साइन कन्वेंशन एंड न्यूमेरिकल बेस्ड ऑन दीज फॉर्मूला आर रिमूव्ड सो यू विल लेफ्ट दीज पोर्सन आर बाई टू एफ इज इक्वल टू आर बाई टू वन बाई भी प्लस वन बाई यू इज इक्वल टू वन बाई एफ मैग्निफिकेशन मैग्निफिकेशन माइनस भी बाई यू and uh, numerical sign convention all are removed so next topic we have to read is uses of a spherical mirror uses of a spherical mirror so first uses of concave mirror uses of concave mirror so uses of concave mirror are following number 1 it is used concave mirror is used as a saving mirror in barber house it is used concave mirror is used to see bigger face to see bigger face second concave mirror is used as reflector in torch search light headlight in cars buses truck etc so concave mirror is used as reflectors in torch search light headlight etc etc and third concave mirror is used as a dentist head mirror dentist head mirror and doctors head mirror ent doctors usually use concave mirror concave mirror to see the a small teeth or a small parts of organ in big in big part in big in big to see clearly so dentist head mirror in dentist head mirror concave mirror is used now usage of convex mirror usage of convex mirror convex mirror is used as reflector in a street lamp in a street lamp convex mirror is used to spread the light to spread the light second it is used as anti theft mirror in shop it is used as anti theft mirror in 
shops and third it is used as rear view mirror rear view mirror that is it is used to see the backward vehicles which are coming towards the towards your vehicle so it is used as rear view mirror now last topic is distinction between a plane mirror concave mirror and convex mirror by image formation so by image formation or without touching them we can distinguish plane mirror concave mirror and convex mirror an object is placed near the mirror one by one and observe the image formed by them so first case if image is upright image is upright and of the same size upright and of the same size and its size does not change and its size does not change on moving towards or away from the mirror length of sight does not change when it is or object is moved towards or away from the plane uh, um, away from the mirror then the mirror is plane so it will be plane mirror second if image is upright if image is upright magnified and increase in size on a small movement a small movement of the mirror away mirror away then the mirror is concave once again if image is upright magnified and increases in size on a small movement of the mirror away mirror away then the mirror is concave last if the image is upright diminished upright diminished and decreases in size on a small movement of mirror away the mirror is convex in this way we can identify by image formation plane mirror concave mirror and convex mirror distinguish between concave mirror and convex mirror so it is given here concave mirror and convex mirror concave mirror reflection takes place from inner side and bulging side is silvered just opposite convex mirror reflection takes place from bulging side inner surface is silvered the light ray incident on it converge after reflection in concave mirror after reflection light converges and convex mirror light rays incident on it diverge after reflection so in concave mirror after reflection it diverges it diverges the image in concave mirror 
the image formed by it is real as well as virtual. Sometime, sometime image will be real, sometime image will be virtual. But in convex mirror, image is always formed virtual. Image is always formed virtual. And size, size of image in concave mirror, size of image sometime greater and sometime a smaller. But size of image in convex mirror is always a smaller than the object. Always a smaller than the object. So these are differences between concave mirror and convex mirror. You will solve exercise 7a, 7b and 7c questions and numericals. But you will left you will left numericals of course of exercise 7c numerical question of exercise 7c you will left except this portion you will solve all questions of 7a 7b and 7c